Welcome back to the New York State Fair. It's that time of night where we give out our Blue Ribbon Award. And tonight's award goes to an exhibit that takes you back in time. Our Laura Hand is live at the fairgrounds now with the big honor. Hey, Laura. Old equipment. Uh, this afternoon and every afternoon at two, they churn butter here. And look at these dulcimers, handmade. Uh, they're part of a big woodworking exhibit here. Turner is someone who turns wood or uses a lathe. Spring pole lathes like this are actually ancient machines. They found them in Egyptian tombs. But using foot powered equipment or hand woodworking tools has a charm that continues to this day. One or two maybe that make a living at it, but very few. They're all just hobbyists. They enjoy doing woodworking. We have people who do scrolling, people who do turning, people who do make furniture. They may make accessories, they make toys, they may carve. Woodworking is the generic term. They all use tools, but work by hand. And even though it's a skill, it's relatively simple. It's all about synchronization and not really thinking about it. Alex is a Camillus middle schooler who's cutting out wooden animals. His saw powered by his foot. Today, this is my fourth day ever doing it, and it's a pretty fun hobby. To be clear, simple does not mean easy, as I found out. Getting the lathe to work smoothly does take practice, but you can try it here. I'll ask the young people if they want to come back and try it, and some of them say no, and some of them look and say, really, yeah? It's a way of getting people, especially young people, interested in continuing this traditional trade. In this day and age, everything is, no, don't touch that, or stay away from that, or that's dangerous, and, and this way it's, you know, yeah, it's a very sharp tool, and yes, it could be dangerous, but held properly and work properly, you know, it's a safe tool. Well, that, that was Laura is, Hand reporting. Yeah, Remarkable incredible. to see. Yeah, they really are great craftsmen, that is for sure. We'll be right back. We continue live coverage from the fair in a moment, including Wayne's weekend forecast.